Going into the field is one of the most exciting things that I do. As a job, it's pretty amazing that I get to travel to incredible places around the world and see places that people rarely get to experience, like the Arctic. Before I set out, I have to gather all my equipment. One of the methods I use to capture specimens is a net. The net allows us to concentrate large quantities of organisms and then to examine them. We're doing a net haul, and uh, we're hoping to get some zooplankton, air pods, if possible. We'll lower the net down. We'll go uh, five meters, try and get a, a surface uh, net haul. I'm uh, very excited about the possibility of finding something interesting. I think it's good. Let's get back to the boat, and we'll have a look and see what we have. Once I get the specimens, I take them back to the ship and prepare them to bring them back to the lab. Being back at the lab is pretty exciting because we get to see what I found. What at this point I'm interested in doing is trying to look at, at what's in this sample. You cannot see anything here, but I'm trying to get it so that we can. And to do that, we're going to be processing the sample using uh, an oxidation process behind me. Once the samples are in place and ready to be uh, processed, I will basically be adding, safely adding the acid to the sample, putting it into the hot water bath, and after 20 minutes of boiling, the organic matter will be removed and the shells will be left behind. I'll be able to turn the hot, water, the hot plate off at that point, let it cool down, and then start to remove the acid. At this point, we've removed the acid from the samples. I've made the diatoms uh, mounts with microscope slides and now we're ready to look for the diatom. It's always amazing because you see nothing on the microscope slide and then when you look in at a thousand times magnification and you see everything that's there, it's absolutely spectacular. When we go on the trips, we collect, we cannot see what we're collecting. It's like collecting the unknown. And then when, when we come back and then we have a look, like I'm looking here, we actually discover and we find these unknown things and we, we don't know. We, we think we know what we're going to find but we don't and so when we find these new species or we find these new uh, environments that we didn't expect it's, it's just not only surprising but it makes you very excited because now you have something that nobody else has seen, you have a chance to take a look and hopefully with that information that you're collecting we'll be able to understand a little bit more about the Arctic, a little bit more about climate change related to uh, weather changes in the, in the regions and ultimately how it's affecting the, the biodiversity of life.